Hello everyone. The aim of the tutorial series will be to deploy a machine learning model in Android. In this video, I will give a brief introduction of semantic image segmentation, DeepLab V3 model of PyTorch, and then I will move ahead to show how to load a model from PyTorch Hub. Now semantic image segmentation is a computer vision task that uses semantic labels to mark specific regions of an input image. The PyTorch semantic image segmentation DeepLab V3 model can be used to label image regions with 20 semantic classes including bicycle, bus, car, dog and person. Now it is important to know that at this time not all the models can be converted into Tor script as the model definition may be using language features that are not in Tor script. So let's just quickly describe the workflow. We will author a model in PyTorch, quantize the model, script or trace the model, optimize the model, save the model and implement the model. First things first, to deploy a model in Android, we need to convert it into Torch script. To convert it into Torch script, we need to import Torch, but for that we need to pip install Torch. So let's start by pip installing Torch. You can write in the terminal pip install Torch. As you can see, I have already installed and that's why requirement is already satisfied. Now, as the requirement is already satisfied, we can go ahead and import torch. Don't forget to pip install. Okay, so now uh, we are going to load the model from PyTorch Hub. It is a pre-trained model repository designed to facilitate research reproducibility. Now to explore all available models in the PyTorch hub, we can use torch.hub.list method. Torch.hub.list. Now this function takes in the, uh, as you can see, it is showing GitHub a string with format repo owner slash repo name. The repo owner is PyTorch and the repo name is vision. Okay, now this is a list uh, to show it in the terminal. We need to write print command. Control S, we save it and let's print it. As you can see, these are the following models that are available in the PyTorch hub. We don't need this right now because we know we will be using DeepLab V3 ResNet 50. So what is DeepLab V3 ResNet 50? ResNet 50 is a convolutional neural network that is 50 layers deep. You can load a pre-trained version of the network trained on more than a million images from the ImageNet database. The pre-trained network can classify images into 1000 object categories such as keyboard, mouse, pencil and many many animals. So to load the model uh, DeepLab V3 ResNet 50, we will use a method torch.hub.load and to, uh, we will save it in a variable called model torch.hub.load. Let's see what are the arguments we need to pass. As you can see, there is a repo or directory and the model which we need. So the repo directory is same PyTorch slash vision and the model name is deep lab v3 resnet 50 there we go and we want a pre-trained model hence a pre-trained base actually so the pre-trained equals to true and we are ready to load the model load the model now uh, there is a, fun a function called model.eval, model.eval it is kind of a switch, okay. So it is a switch for some specific layers or parts of the model that behave differently during training and ev evaluating time. So when we are using the model to evaluate something, we will switch on, Th that is we will write the function model.eval. Now, uh, to script our model, 
that is uh, as we need the model or the uh, source code of the model in torch script so we will use a function torch dot 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 script which what it does is uh, it will inspect the source code compile it as torch script code using the torch script compiler and return a script module or script function so let's say the return uh, the return model will be saved in scripted model and to get the scripted model we will use torch.jit dot script okay and let's see what are the arguments that we need to pass so one is object and uh, the object is nothing but the uh, model we have loaded so let's pass the model okay so we will get the scripted model in this variable and what we need to do now is to save an offline version of this module to use it in a separate process the saved module serializes all of the methods sub modules parameters and attributes of the module so we can save the module by torch dot jit dot save what we need to pass is uh, the scripted module we need to save and the file name okay so the scripted module is scripted model and the file name we will set as deep lab v3 resnet 50 now the important thing to note is the file type should be dot pt as we will need it later in the, later in the tutorial so the scripted module to script the model and this is to save an offline version of the model of the model now let's go ahead save it and then run it i have actually i have already once downloaded the model the model is of 168 mb as you can tell that in mobiles we will need model of reduced size that's why we will need to uh, go ahead and quantize it which will we, which we will do in the next tutorial but before that let's check the uh, check our model first and in the directory i have saved it in you can see that it is dplab v3 resnet.50.pt and you can go ahead and check it out it is of 160 mb so yeah that's it this is how we save a model we load and save a model uh, thank you